Cloud Code has gained a lot of popularity because of its effectiveness when it comes to terminal-based coding agent. But recently, we saw a degrading in the Anthropic services in Opus 4.1 and other because of some bugs. And that has affected a lot of users. But what if I told you rather than subscribing to any packages from any company, you can actually use open source solutions just like Cloud Code and you can use the same Anthropic API key there to get similar results. And yes, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install two different open source coding agents for your CLI. One is Open Code and the other one is Crush. And I'm going to be guiding you how you're going to set up this locally on your machine and how you can actually run this. So without further ado, let's dive right into the video and actually start setting up Open Code and Crush locally on your computer. Hi and welcome back to Skill Cup. This is Ahosham Reyes and we're finally getting started with the video. So first one that I'm going to be installing is going to be Open Code. Open Code is an AI agent built for the terminal just like Cloud Code. And the installation process is really, really simple. If you want to go with any package managers, you can install either with NPM, Brew or Paro. Or if you want to just use curl, that's up to you. So for me, I'm going to go with NPM. And essentially, this command means that install open code AI at the latest globally on your computer. That's what this command means. So let's go ahead and open up our terminal and paste in this command there and just hit enter. Now, what this would do is it's going to grab all the packages related to open code AI and install that into your machine. And once you're done doing that, you can actually go ahead and run your open code AI. Okay, so now that you have your open code installed, the next step is to actually configure the API provider. And usually I go with open AI. You can go with Anthropic, Google, if you want to go for free, because mostly Gemini API keys are free, or you can go with any other provider out there. But set up this provider, you have to type in open code auth login what this would do is it's going to give you the settings to log in using open router google open ai github copilot and topic even open code has its own api key and even virtual ai gateway but i'm gonna go with open ai right here because i usually prefer open ai and i'm just gonna go ahead and hit enter now the next step is to paste in your OpenAI's API key right here. So I'm just going to go ahead and paste in my API key right here. And as soon as you paste in your API key, just hit enter and this should log you in with your OpenAI's credentials. Now you can run open code freely in your terminal and actually configure the project folder where you want to work with open code. And how would you do that? I'm going to show you each and every step for that. So first off, you have to move to the folder where your project is or where you want to create a new project. So I'm just going to go ahead and go to desktop and there I have a folder named open code. So I'm just going to go ahead and move inside this folder. Let's clear the screen now. So the next thing you want to do here is you have to open up open code just like that. Now you have open code right there. And now right here, you can just go ahead and say slash models. And this should show all the models that you have at your disposal. So we have OpenAI's 5 Nano, 5 Mini, 5 O3 Pro and Codex Mini as well. So I'm just going to go with one of the models. I can choose any model right here. So let's say I want to just go with 5 Mini right here. And you can see that the model has switched to 5 Mini right now. And you can go ahead and create a new session if you wanted to with this command right here. Or you can go ahead and initialize this session with init command. So that's how you can play around with open code. But to keep this video short, I don't want to go in depth with open code because we still have another open source AI agent that we can use inside a terminal and I'm going to show you how you can install that. So without further chatter, let's move to the next one and actually set that up locally in a machine. And I hope that I have clearly shown you how you can set up open code and how you can initialize your projects and change models and also authenticate your provider and use that API. With that said, let's move to the next one. So the next terminal AI agent is going to be Crush. And Crush is relatively similar to Open Core and other AI terminals. It looks really cool when you actually try this out, as you can see in this small video right here. So it has multimodal support, flexible, session-based, and it has LSP enhanced, which means that it can support additional context and it works everywhere on FreeBSD, OpenBSD, NetBSD, Windows, PowerShell, Linux, Mac OS, any terminal, you name it. And the installation process is just as simple as open code. I just have to copy this NPM command here. You can go with brew or winget. It's really up to you. And 
as soon as you install it, you can just go ahead and run it. So back here inside my terminal, what I'm going to be doing is I'm just going to paste in that command and hit enter. What this would do is it's going to start downloading all the dependencies and packages for Crush. And then we can finally use Crush. So there you go. You can see that Crush is successfully installed right now. So just to be sure, I'm just going to go ahead and check whether Crush is perfectly installed or not. So let's just say Crush and then hyphen hyphen version. This command shows us the version of the program that we just installed. So Crush version v0.7.7 has been installed. Now I can actually go ahead and use Crush. But before that, let me clear up the screen. So I have to set up the environment variable, which is my API key right here. So you can use Entropics API key, OpenAI, OpenRouter, Gemini API key if you want to go free and all of these providers. I'm just going to go with OpenAI's API key right here. So how to set this up? You just have to say set and then you have to paste in the variable name. And in front of that variable name, you have to paste in the value or your API key. So mine is going to be OpenAI's API key, which is right here. And I'm just going to hit enter. Now my API key is set. Let's clear this up and let's run Crush. And what this would do is it's going to open up Crush for you. And I really like the colors and theme here. So the first thing is going to ask you is to choose a model. So you can choose any of the models right here, OpenAI, Anthropic, whatever you want. I'm just going to go with GPT 4.1 here. And it's going to ask me to paste in my API key for the provider. So I'm just going to go ahead and, and paste in my OpenAI's API key right here. And as soon as you enter your API key, just hit enter. And it's going to actually verify whether the key is working or not. So now the key is validated and I can go ahead and start working using Crush. So it's asking me if I want to initialize this project or not. Yes, of course, I want to initialize this project. And there you go. GPT 4.1 is working here with your budget, which is right now $0. And you can see it initializing the project right here. So this is something that I really like about Crush because it has a really cool way of showing you the matrices and how much LSPs or MCPs are used or how many files have been modified. So right now it's just processing and initializing this project. But I think this is more than enough for this video because this video was all about how you can set up both of these terminal AI agents on your machine and how you can use these open source AI agents. So with that said, I want to wrap this video up. I hope this video was valuable and you have learned how to set up these open source terminal AI agents. If you found this video insightful, hit that like button. Share your thoughts or experiences in the comments below. Ring the notification bell to never miss out on a daily update. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in our next video. Till then, stay curious and keep exploring.